My hands are full of, my hands are full of, and every time I see my friends, my hands are full of. My feet say hello, my feet say hello, every time I see my friends, my feet say hello. My elbows say hello, my elbows say hello, every time I see my friends, my elbows say hello. My fingers say hello, my fingers say hello. Every time I see my friends, my fingers say hello. Today, we are going to learn about a season. A season that we are in right now. It's called spring. So we're going to get out some lovely pictures of seasons. Wow, look at this one. It's springtime. Look at all the beautiful flowers that are coming up. And we have more flowers that are coming up. Some nice tulips. And in the springtime, little bunnies pop up and around. And also we're going to talk about different seasons. Like Christmas on the beach. Well, that would probably be winter. And this one, the leaves are turning colors. You see they're yellow, they're not green anymore. Summer is over, and now it's fall. Oh, this is fun, and look at this cute little pig. He has candy canes. I think he will belong in the winter season. Oh, and these people are on a boat. Wow. I think that would be summer. <laughs> and look at this cute little monkey. He's carving a pumpkin, making a jack-o'-lantern. So he would belong in the season fall. We'll put him in the fall season. And if I flip this nice spring picture over, look at that. Look at all the leaves, they're changing. So we'll put that one in the fall. And we have a funny little monkey skating. So, and I see some snowflakes, so he belongs in the winter. Oh, in this snowy picture, it's snowing. So it also goes in the winter. Wow, so let's learn a song about the seasons. Winter, spring, Summer, fall, these are the seasons, let's say them all. Winter, spring, summer, fall, these are the seasons, let's say them all. So we have winter, spring, summer, fall. And we are in the season spring right now. So if you notice, there's lots of birds chirping, there are lots of plants growing. So much is going on in the spring. It starts raining a lot. So let's get out a little poem. Goes like this. So some days seem like winter and some are nice and warm. Rainy days and windy days. Maybe it will storm. Warm or cold, wet or dry. What will the weather be? I think spring is trying to play peekaboo with me. That's a nice little poem about spring. And I have another one. And it goes. Oh, this is my nice picture I drew. <laughs> Look at that. There's a little bee. There's a little bug. There's some trees. The flowers are growing. And it is sunny out. But it also could be raining. That's the part of spring that makes it so different from winter, fall, and summer is that you kind of don't know what the weather is going to do. Every day it changes. So we have so many things to talk about. So we have a 
another little poem about the rain. So, pitter patter raindrops, pitter patter raindrops, falling from the sky to keep me safe and dry. Here is my umbrella. When the rain is over and the sun begins to glow, the little flowers start to bud and grow and grow and grow. Wow, what a nice little poem. There are so many little poems about spring. I love poems. So you guys at home could plant some seeds and then it will grow into either flowers or maybe you want to grow some peas or some tomatoes or maybe even some strawberries or blueberries. Wow, it would be so fun to have a garden. But for now, we can pretend. So, look at that little seed. It's time to plant a little seed in the cold, cold ground. Plant it. So, plant a little seed in the cold, cold ground. Out comes the yellow sun, big and round. Down comes the raindrop, slowly flow. And up comes the flowers, grow, grow, grow. <laughs> That's a fun little song. Wow, we can learn so much about spring. Maybe I'll leave that there for now. And we can do a song, another song, and it goes like this. There is a time when we get wet, and rainy is its name. Oh, R-A-I-N-Y, R-A-I-N-Y. R-A-I-N-Y, and rainy is its name Oh, huh. because it does rain a lot in the spring. So you could even, when you're outside, try and catch the raindrops. Shall we try? Hmm, I wonder what the raindrops could taste like. Maybe cake and strawberries. Let's sing a song. If all the raindrops were cake and strawberries, oh, what a rain that would be. Standing outside with my mouth open wide. Ah, 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 ah. If all the raindrops were cake and strawberries, oh, what a rain that would be. Mmm, that would be really yummy. I love cake and I love strawberries. Uh, what's something else that we could have come from the raindrops? Maybe, how about soup and sandwiches? I, I think I can tell that I'm a little hungry. If all the raindrops were soup and sandwiches, oh, what a rain that would be. Standing outside with my mouth open wide. Ah, 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 ah. If all the raindrops were soup and sandwiches, oh, what a rain that would be. Good job. Now you can think of different foods. And I have a little sheet here that we can talk about planting. Another little picture that I drew. So first, you have little seeds. And then they grow by putting down roots. That's how they get the water up into the stem. It goes to make some leaves. And then out comes the flower. But you need sun, and you need rain, and you need the clouds. And from the rain, you need it makes water. Whoa. So seeds, roots, stem, leaf, flower, sun, rain, water, cloud. And then it makes the different seasons. So you could have winter, spring, summer, fall. And we are in this season right now, spring. And what will come next? Summer, then fall, then winter. So it's winter, spring, summer, fall. Winter, spring, summer, fall. Winter, spring, summer, fall. That's usually the year. There's four seasons. One, two, three, four. Good job, my friends. <clears throat> and during springtime, the flowers love to come out. So 
So let's see how many flowers they have. And I'll move this one out of the way. We have one, two, three, four, five. Five little flowers. So one little flower and not much to do. Then up, oh, up, oh, another one. Then there were two. Two little flowers smiling at the sun. And then a little bee flew around. Bing. And then out popped another one. Up. And then there were three. Three little flowers were growing by the door. Out popped another. Up. Then there were one, two, three, four. Four little flowers glad to be alive. Out popped another one. Up. And that makes five. So I know flowers are really, really pretty and really nice to look at. But if you pick one, if you pick it out of the garden, oh no, it's not going to be alive anymore. It's going to die because it doesn't have its roots. Remember we talked about roots? Those need to stay in the ground. And if you just pick the stem, oh no, the flower is dead. Oh, don't want to hurt the flowers, so let's just look with our eyes. Can we do that? Great. I knew you could do it. So let's say goodbye, flowers. So glad you're alive. Stay growing so everyone can see. And now, I have one more thing to show you, which is super cool. And we'll get it all ready for you. So I have a nice, big tree that's glowing, and it has some little leaves. And we have, let's count together. They're hard to find because they're so little. So we have one, two, oh, I'll get that down. Two, three, and four. And another guy's hiding. Five. So we have five little caterpillars and not one more. One found a cocoon and that made four. Four little caterpillars and not one more. He spun a cocoon, and that left three. Three little caterpillars, and not one more. She spun a cocoon, and that left two. Two little caterpillars, and not one more. He spun a cocoon. That left only one. One little caterpillar, glad to be here, and she spun a cocoon. And no more caterpillars, they're all gone. But out of the cocoon, and out from the sun, now there's a is gone and there are four cocoons left and out pops another butterfly and that made two and so we have three cocoons and two butterflies but oh, out from the sun another one popped out of the cocoon and that made three butterflies and now we just have two cocoons oh popped another butterfly out of the cocoon and that left one 
And guess what? Out popped up another one. And there's left none. No more cocoons and no more caterpillars. They all turn into butterflies. Whoa, metamorphosis at its finest. Say goodbye, butterflies. So if you see a little caterpillar, it's one day going to be a butterfly. Little caterpillars, little caterpillars, in you go. Little cocoons, little cocoons, in you go. Well, thanks so much for joining me today. Well, it's time to say goodbye, but I hope you come back soon. Goodbye, my friends.